It deflects past McCabe and back into Buffalo territory. O'Reilly brings it right back in. His centering pass taken away, and Fontaine carries it ahead. Gives to Coyle. Coyle drops it back. Vanek can drive, and a save by Elmar. Suter turns to chase, but Evander Kane is there first. Kane battles with Spurgeon along the wall. Handles a deflected pass himself. Kane to the middle on the backhand. Save Dubnik. Rebound. They score. Jamie McGinn on the rebound. Slides it by Dubnik. And Buffalo has a 1-0 lead. McGinn deflects it initially off the Kane shot. And that is where Dubnik was unable to control the rebound. Gives to Brodeen. Brodeen sidesteps Reinhardt. Coyle plays it off the boards at center ice. He's bumped by Gergensen's and Eichel's right back in. His centering pass broken up by Vanek. Second try. Reinhardt threw it toward the net. Draw controlled by Gianta. Ristolainen has it for Buffalo. His shot blocked by Parisi. Ristolainen maintains control. They score. His shot was tipped out front. Looked like Foligno got a piece of it. And Buffalo has a 2-0 lead. Here we go again. Scenario. This is just a wrist shot that uh, has a crazy care on and a hard shot by any means. Just well placed. Crystal Linen with it here for Buffalo. Unfortunate break for Minnesota. Parisi had blocked Crystal Linen's first shot. And had he been able to find the puck, he might have been able to take off on a breakaway the other way. Buffalo scores again on a deflected shot out front. It's going to be interesting. John is not a very big guy, so keep in mind, this is not a six foot five guy deflecting it. This is a guy that's considerably smaller, and that, to me, does not look like a high stick. After review, the call on the ice is going to stand. we got a good hockey game. Jurgensen hits the Minnesota line, tried to center, just too far for Eichel, and Zucker scoops it up for Minnesota. Zucker to Porter at the Buffalo line. Back to Spurgeon, a shot. Rebound and stole Fan on it. Randlin has it at the Minnesota line. Cross ice for Koivu into the Buffalo zone. Koivu puts on the brakes along the wall. To Granlin, who fires, and a pad saved by Omar. Scandella winds and fires, that goes wide. Suter scoops it up for Minnesota. Plays it off the boards for Howland, then to Suter. Suter shorthanded for Minnesota, fires, and a save by Allmark, loose puck, they score! Come back in games without getting some big performances. Tied up by Scandella. Bergensons trying to fight off his check. He goes down. Puck comes out the center of the wild of numbers at the Buffalo line. Stoll drops it back. Riley to Zucker. Saved by Allmark. The deck trying to ignite the offense somehow. Here it's Niederreiter with Zucker and Stoll. Niederreiter in the corner for Minnesota. Back to Stoll behind the net. Scandella. Now Zucker in the middle. Waits. Fires. Saved by Omar, and he hangs on with Stoll nearby. Spurgeon settles a bouncing puck across for Suter. And the Wild are back on the attack. Coil for Zucker. Zucker to Koivu. Koivu tried to go skate the stick. Couldn't handle it cleanly. Eichel racing in for Buffalo. Eichel fires. Saved by Dubnik. And that was a tester. To Brodeen. Brodeen fires it in for the Wild. McCabe in the corner. Pressured by Fontaine. Vanek spins to gain space. Brodeen centered and Hollow was tied up. Could not get the stick on it. Suter plays it in. First to line and tied up by Parisi. Dumbo waits for the carom off the wall. Gives to Granlund. Across for Suter. Suter looks, fires, they score! Look at Parisi in front. He gets knocked over and then battles, but they don't get to back. Spurgeon to Granlin. And that'll bring us to the end of the game. And the Sabres come into St. Paul and beat the Wild. Their second consecutive win away from home.